There was an instance on Deep Impact where they had forgotten somehow that there was going to be the space station in the movie. It was like one paragraph in the script. And so they had no budget for it. Um, they actually grabbed pieces of other budgets to cobble together enough money to make this model, hopefully. And they went to Brian Gernand, who was the show supervisor on that, and they said, Brian, what do we do? We just have this amount of money, and we have this drawing, and we need that space station from the drawing. How can, how can we make, make this happen? And he just uh, he said, uh, give it to Fawn and leave him alone for three weeks. <laughs> Which was incredibly flattering. You know, was, uh, I felt like that was a real, real kind of high point of my career. Because it's very rare that you get an opportunity to build a model almost completely by yourself. And I just kind of sat there and worked on the space station for weeks. And I, I did end up getting some help uh, with a couple parts of it towards the end there. But um, for the most part, I got to build that entire model. Um, so that was, that was definitely one of my fondest memories of working at ILM. Being at ILM at that time was just, uh, it was a huge privilege because it was the heyday, you know, for ILM, for us, for the kind of next generation of model builders. Because at the time, ILM was doing 75% of the visual effects work in the industry. And a lot of it used miniatures. So we had a ton of work. We, we had gone from... I think it was somewhere around two dozen when I started there, up to over 120 model makers at its peak. 